you know, some of the some of the sacrifices I make for this show. All right. Uh, I can't believe that Dennis let me, would be let me call asleep. Him. I don't think he's asleep either. Let me let me give him a call. Maybe he's self gratifying. That's you think that's possible, Jim? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> you think he's you think he's rubbing one out? I think he could <laughs> absolutely be tugging his prick. <laughs> It's the only possible scenario I can think yeah. of right now. He could be Where else could he possibly prayer. be? Yeah, he must be. <laughs> I hope he picks up this time. I mean, he's got nothing going on. Well, unless he's, uh... <laughs> you, you think flogging his login. Hey, this is Dennis. Sorry I missed your call, but please leave your message. And I'll get back to you just as soon as possible. Thanks for calling and have a great day. Goodbye now. <laughs> I mean, come on. Is that it's not the greatest Dennis? thing I've ever heard. It's yeah, Dennis. it's so perfect. Man, he never breaks. He never breaks. <laughs> yep. Goodbye now. Oh. Yeah, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, hopefully we'll hear from Dennis at some point. But, Jim, uh, there is a video that yes. for some reason is circulating on the internet like this week. Mm. And it actually came from us. Not from our Get show, it. but from Sirius XM. Yeah. Oh. Um, you know, uh, you you know about a girl. It's not a Nirvana song, but it's the song Nirvana did at Unplug. Yes, of course. Yeah. It uh, that was a I'm very gonna... famous. I think that was taped actually with the same place we used to tape Tough Crowd. I believe is where they taped uh, their Unplug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About a girl. That's a Nirvana song. It's not an original, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that was on Bleach. I know it was on the album. I thought it was a cover. No, that is not a cover. That's their song. Part of the Mud didn't yeah, write it originally? Song. I mean, I was going to say, it's it's their song, but now is it? Right, exactly. Is it? Well, this this is their version. We play a little... <laughs> I've heard. This happened actually at Sirius. Um in In January, yeah. Okay. I don't think we're supposed to be playing it because... It's unlisted on the YouTube channel, but I clicked the link and went right to the video. So, plus, the video has been reposted a whole bunch of times already. They can't get away from it. Yep. But I guess in January, and I wish somebody had told me Puddle of Mud was coming up to Sirius in January, because I would have loved to have met them. Mm -hmm. Puddle of Mud. You remember Puddle of Mud, Jim? Sure. We interviewed them years ago. Yeah. She fucking hates me. It's yeah. Classics. Classics. Classics <laughs> on classics on classics. Um, so Puddle of Mud was up and, uh, they decided, you know, they were, they had their acoustics with them and everything. Oh, nice. And they said, you know, we're just sitting here in the serious studio. Why don't we do our version of About a Girl? The unplugged version. Yeah. Good. And I was like, you know, that's kind of a risk because I don't know if you could improve on it. Right. But at least you could put your own spin on it. And I appreciate the risk being taken. Sure. You want to hear some of it? I would love to. Puddle of Mud, doing About a Girl. Again, this happened in January, but for some reason, people just found it this week. Yeah. And it went super viral in the uh, rock community. Oh, good for those guys. Good. Yes. Yes. Well, be before you say good for those guys, let's listen a little bit, and then okay. we'll figure out if... Yeah, we'll figure out what the... It's nice. Can you turn it up a little? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Good, right? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Let me pause on this for just a sec. Jim, you gotta watch the video for this uh, too. Visuals. Because the convulsions that he's making in his face is like he's showing all his teeth. Oh, no! <laughs> the amount of effort that he puts in to something that Kurt did so effortlessly. So this guy's probably a big Nirvana fan and loves Kurt. Be. And he's really trying to belt it out properly. He's yeah. probably trying to over. He's overly trying to do it justice, 
And that's why, because he almost sounds like he's doing an impression of Kurt Cobain instead of singing the way he would probably naturally sing it. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, you, what you're attempting to do as a tribute is, is, is not quite, you're not getting the reaction <laughs> you wanted. But when he's, and that, and that certainly does. But he's trying to make it sound like Kurt. It's like, you don't need to, because they're saying that he can do it. Who's, Who's saying, saying that? that? <laughs> I've read that he... Hold on. <laughs> yeah, he, maybe he that said that. There's another one where he does it right. There's a video, Puddle of Bud can actually nail Nirvana's About a Girl. I don't want to see that video. I don't want to see it either. Quite frankly, I don't care. I hope... Look, this, uh, I'm going to... Go ahead. I want to start poking around at Sirius XM. And I want to I want to talk to people with... I we don't have to do it on the air, just for my own personal edification. I want to find out if what the web team was thinking when they put this video up. I want to know who was the producer that was there with Octane making this. I want to know everybody that was involved in this process and what they did, thought. Did they know, yeah. Yeah, because you know that. Of course they knew. You know the web team knew. when they put At least when they put the video up. The guy who was editing this video, who heard this song over and over again, knew what he was putting up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. puddle of mud. I hope that... Uh, yeah, that was a misstep. Post Malone's doing that um, Nirvana covers concert tomorrow night. Oh. On his YouTube channel to like raise money. I really mm -hmm. hope that he does this and just kills it. Like, in, you a, know good, the guys like in a good way. Yeah, the guy from Puddle of Mud is like, please let him be worse than me. Please let him be worse <laughs> than me. And he's doing a whole please. set, so you know he's going to be prepared. Yeah, he's probably going to be really... He wouldn't do it if he didn't know that he could nail it. No, I'm looking forward to it. Ah. Uh. And it's a, it's such a it's it, puddle of mud is such a band that gets unfairly made fun of for being around in the early 2000s like it's just that's the band that they existed for whatever reason they were popular in that one moment and that's it like it's not even like a thing that carried over like it's not even kid rock it's not even you know one of these groups that we kind of it's not even lip biscuit it's the little brother it's puddle of mud Wait, and then they, they go out. Bodies hit the hit the floor song. Is that them? No, no. that was a uh, drowning pool. Oh, yeah. okay. They did yeah. blurry and uh, some other. She fucking songs. hates yeah, me. That song, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was like the death of you know that type of rock. music. Yeah, death uh, rock, of rock, rock and roll. Yeah, death of, yeah, yeah, that death was, of rock and roll. It went from Elvis to puddle of mud. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was rock and roll's run. It's do a you really think great they run. Deserved criticism or no? Like back then, do you think they were better no, than I was, given credit for? So I don't I don't think they were they were not worse than other bands at the time. Okay. You know what I mean? Not it was it, a ringing endorsement, but yeah, no. Well, you know look. Yeah, the 2000s people went fucking crazy in the early 2000s. Like yeah. there was really good music that happened and then for some reason in the 90s and then for some reason in the early 2000s everybody was like how much can we fuck this up? Like what how much can we just destroy everything? And pretend like it's amazing. And for a minute, like, I thought it was amazing, too. I was part of it. I was young, you know? I was like, yeah, Puddle of Mud is fucking awesome. Limp Biscuit rules. Kid Rock is the KID. Like, I was in with, I was into all of it. But, like, looking back, I'm like, oh, my God. If you look at some of the music that came out of that sort of uh, grunge era. Yeah. And then what it became, literally f five years later. And you go... How did it get, and I think it was just, it got so commercialized, it got so derivative, so fast, that people didn't even realize it was happening until you look at it, and you're like, holy shit, this lost its soul immediately. When did, when did the whinging rock start, the whole, um, you know, and she, um, and I tried to understand, but she wouldn't love me, I asked her to hold my hand, I told her I love her, like that whiny like, like solo rock guy. Pop punk type of stuff? Yeah, that was late nineties, early two thousands. It was. Same you know time. what I'm talking about, Tra yeah, Travis? Yeah, yeah. You know sure. what I mean, right? Yeah. What was? And I actually liked the one song. Um, you know, but some guy with a t-shirt, a white t-shirt. Which I don't remember the Delilah. Band. There you Delilah. go. Delilah. Good call. Yeah. That Delilah. was like I actually liked that song. Yeah, that was like early twenty tens. Right. That that's, song hit. Yeah, yeah. but when, that, that's when that stuff kind of started. Or is yeah, it the that end sort of. of yeah. Um. Mm, was, no, it was probably. Right around then, that, that was like, so like it went from grunge rock, rock, rap, 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 
Whatever it is. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. Easy for you to say. Go ahead, Sam. <laughs> Thanks very much. Rap rock. Rap rock, and, yeah. And then, like, in the early 2000s, Fucking like, at the end stuff. of the TRL era, yep. that's when... <laughs> that's when... Uh, pop punk. Cost pop daily. punk. <laughs> yeah, that's Hey There Delilah punk. was 2005. Oh, that was earlier than I thought. So that was oh, like... you like that song? No. You don't, oh, you don't like that song? Not really. I like it. I, I it's one of those songs I use as a reference for a type of music I don't like, but I like that song. Yeah, I'm not. Was that really 2005? 2005, yeah. It was on Kids Bop in 2007. That's when I know it from. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Bop. Yeah, that's Kids Bop is all those kids albums Bop. that like uh, kids will cover uh, hit songs. Yeah, you know? they cover the hit songs. <laughs> okay. okay, thanks, right. guys. <laughs> it's uh, what it is. It's uh, they call it uh, Kids Bop Seven music for elites to eat children to. Was the, that was the seventh one? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That was like, yeah. I guess, yeah. Plain white tees was probably the end. Like that's probably what pop punk kind of devolved into. It was the end, and of there music. is still. I mean, huh? It was the end of music. Delilah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You're you're probably right. That's when people gave up on instruments. I mean, Delilah we hit the, we was hit when the peak like, with with you know the biscuit. The biscuit was the peak. So you can only and then, down. Yeah, we were rolling downhill, and then after Delilah came out, everybody was like, let's just make fake music on computers. Well, yeah, then we started <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling downhill. R rolling, 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 rolling what? <laughs> <laughs> rolling, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's uh, not a very good cover. L-I-M-P, oh, that, that, uh, Puddle, yeah. about a girl, Puddle of Mud. Oh, yeah. Like, Puddle of Mud was the runoff of that sort of, like, rock rap thing so and they had their moment so much for it okay um you actually misunderstood what we were oh talking I, about I, I was like why are they getting so much there's been a tremendous amount of criticism that has been oh. thrown their way i mean tremendous to the point that the lead singer of puddle of mud had to come out and make a statement that uh um what was I'm, I'm pulling up his statement uh, now. He's saying that basically, he said, toxic people are a waste of time. But everyone I mean, criticizing it is not necessarily toxic. Some of them are. Sometimes. Not everyone. Yeah, sometimes you fucked up. It, like, sometimes you got to come out and go, well, that just wasn't that great. Right, exactly. It happens. I have to do it after every show. <laughs> yeah, we'll it's get him next time. Like, well, you I don't. apologize to the audience before they leave the theater. I'm like, look, we all, we gave it a shot, folks. <laughs> Hey Travis, because uh, Sam mentioned my audio, do I sound like I'm uh, sorry? Is it going? Is it okay? Uh, you sound like you're clipping a little. But what do you mean hmm. clipping? Like, uh, like it sounds like you're too hot, but you're not on the on on my levels. Yeah, I, exactly. That's exact. It sounds like it's a little hot. So yeah. I'm sorry to the listeners. Maybe we can work that out. That's again. an issue on your end. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you turn your mic down, Travis can turn it up on yeah. his end, and it won't clip. Yeah. Um, okay. you want to hear what puddle? You want to hear what the official puddle of mud account said? Because I think you'll be extremely Absolutely, entertained yes. by it. Okay. Uh, puddle of mud said, "They said rise above others who try to take you down. I'm at my best now, and that's all that matters. I pray for all of you because we care. Jealousy is toxic, and toxic people are a waste of time. Walk away with nothing but a smile." And that just makes people want to criticize. Okay, that's people. way too low. You don't think people are really jealous? Uh, no, I don't. I do not <laughs> think people are jealous. I don't think this was spurned by jealousy, no. Yeah. By the way, I think Jim Clipping is his levels, actually. Yeah. I think it's something think in the processing. Is? Yeah, me too. Okay. Yep. I, think, I think it's something in your processing. You can keep your levels where they were because yeah, it's well, clipping regardless. Is too low now? Yeah. You're fine. Travis, I can, how's that? I, I can, I can take better. care of it uh, back here, but yeah, I think it is something in the processing. They'll have to is take that care better? Of it, like, after yep, the Yep, that's show. perfect. Yep, you're good. Uh, can they fix that? You know, yeah, because it sounded no, fine earlier this week. <laughs> but I didn't do anything. Processing, I didn't change anything. Processing is permanent. Once you do it, it's done. Shit. Yeah, no, it's over. 